What is up guys, it's your friend Randy the Half Pre Gamer, and I'm going to attempt to do a comparison slash review of The Witcher 3 and Horizon Zero Dawn. So I've been seeing this video of a comparison between Horizon Zero Dawn and The Witcher 3 floating around on the internet. It compares the 1080p ultra graphics of The Witcher 3 up against the um, 1080p graphics of Horizon Zero Dawn. And to be honest, both games look amazing. At 30 frames per second, it can be said that Horizon Zero Dawn does look better in some ways. I mean, the textures, the shadows, they all look great. The character models look phenomenal. You can bask in the glory of the beauty of the game, but as you look at The Witcher 3, maxed out in 4k this video i i recommend you set it to 4k right now 4k 60 frames per second you notice how much more smooth and beautiful the video is you notice how much more smooth and beautiful the graphics are in the witcher 3 if you are maxing it out in 4k on a pc now some of you will go and say that it's no comparison because the PS4 Pro's hardware is limited. Well, I, I'm going to take the liberty and make that comparison because PS4 or Sony has chosen to just release their game on the PS4. And as a result, you can make those comparisons. The Witcher 3 is a lot smoother on a high-end PC than Horizon Zero Dawn ever will be on the PS4 Pro. Just look at those shadows, look at the beauty of the game. And you look at this, it's, it's pretty beautiful. Honestly, I'm just talking off the... Uh, seat of my pants right now I'm looking at the beauty of the games honestly the mountains the foliage the setting of Horizon Zero Dawn looks absolutely beautiful but the, you can't compare it to The Witcher 3 in 4k because it's so much smoother look at the shadowing on Aloy's face or Aloy's face that ghosting is just annoying to me Definitely a beautiful game, but look at Geralt. See the lack of shadowing? See how smooth it looks? And even when it comes to story, I mean, The Witcher 3, even apart from the expansions, you get a good 120 hours of gameplay. Whereas with Horizon Zero Dawn, you get like a 40 hour gameplay max, maybe 60 if you stretch it out. Uh, there's just no comparison. The size and scope of The Witcher 3 is a lot bigger, a lot more immersive. I became encumbered. <laughs> Not encumbered. I'm trying to think of a word. I became so immersed in the world that it, it's probably one of the best experiences I've ever had in a game. Whereas Horizon Zero Dawn, I finished it in maybe 30 hours. I kind of powered through it and I honestly didn't become invested in the characters in the same way I did with The Witcher 3. I actually started to care about Geralt, Ciri, Vesemir, uh, even the Bloody Baron in a way that I never have in a video game before. Whereas Horizon Zero Dawn, you know, I I grieved when uh, Alloy's father figure, what's his name again? I can't remember his name, correct me. Um, I can't remember his name right now. Honestly, I'm doing this voice capture live, but uh, I grieved when he died, but not in the same way as I grieved when Vesemir died. And 
I felt this great sense of satisfaction when Geralt avenges Vesemir's death. And then when Alloy finally does, Aloy finally does, I didn't feel that same sense of satisfaction and victory. It was kind of a passing thing that it just wasn't a big deal. Side quests, as far as side quests go, Horizon Zero Dawn has got some pretty great side quests. You know, they're immersive, they tell a story, they can take you on a rabbit trail that'll maybe at last 30 to 45 minutes. And they're immersive. However, The Witcher 3 is on a whole other level. I mean, the Bloody Baron quest where you're taken into this man's life who has abused his wife, has, uh, through violence, caused his wife to miscarry a child. And you see his alcoholism and uh, his uh, sense of penance because he wants his family back. He, his daughter essentially disowns him. His wife runs away, ends up living among some devious witches and seeing him try to win his family back and beginning to care for him, beginning to hear his side of the story if you choose to. I haven't ever done a side quest that was that immersive and where I became that invested in characters. There was nothing like that in Horizon Zero Dawn. Even uh, animations again. Alloy's face is static, a static model, whereas Geralt, when you look at him, there's a motion. He's moving the muscles in his face, whereas Alloy isn't. Just everything about it is superior. Thank you guys. It's your boy, the Half-Pre Gamer, signing off.